Hey, Red Lion, that's why I love the Hot Rod community. You got that right, Taz. This week, guys, not only have we got a great episode for you, but Doug Herbert and his Brakes Charity with the Driving School, we're going to bring you in to Tyler McAllister, one of our fans and members here at Cruise Control Extreme that was in an accident. Vince, that accident could have been a whole lot worse. It could have been a lot worse on the car as well as him. Exactly. Plus, tell them what we got this week with the uh, Mustang Corral. You got a great tip this week. And the Mustang Corral, V6 Mustangs, we've got a tip that's going to save you a bunch of money on, from the 05s to the 09 Mustangs. It'll save you a couple of hundred bucks if you've got the similar problem. That's going to be a great episode, especially because there's a lot of V6 Mustang owners out there, Vince. Plus, guys, also this week, I have got three explosive interviews set up for you. Not only do we have Alexis DeJoria with the Patron Race and Funny Car, but we have got the legendary folks, Paul Mitchell, right here with Cruise Control Extreme, and Jesse James. Guys, it gets no finer than Jesse James and his motorcycles. You guys are going to want to stay tuned, Vince. Sit back and watch this, guys. This segment brought to you by, for service and integrity since 1976, it's the National Parts Depot. Visit online npdlink.com order today. For all your radio and communication needs, go to racingelectronics.com. We use Quantum Towing for all our towing needs. Call 980-328-4160. Iron Thunder Saloon. Find out why it's become the local's favorite. This account, you're watching Cruise Control Extreme TV. I'm the parent of two sons that drive every day. Don't let your parents receive the phone call that Doug got last year. Last year my two boys were killed in a car accident while they were driving fast, less than a mile from the house. There is a place to drive fast, and that's right out here where Clay and I do, at the drag strip. Go to PutOnTheBrakes.org to download a safe driving contract and learn what you can do to be a safer driver. Do you have transmission problems? Bench-built transmissions of Kanapolis can repair any transmission, including automatic and straight drive. They also repair rear differentials and clutches. Over 30 years' experience in the business, they know how to do it right and do it right the first time. They're located on Highway 29 in Kanapolis, just a short distance from Concord or China Grove. Bench Belt's transmissions is knocking out the competition. So if you're having transmission problems, come see Chuck and all the gang at Bench Built Transmissions, 704-933-8727. my life. Um, we have 24 races between February and November and that's not including testing, that's not including um, uh, publicity stuff that I have to do and um, you know uh, driver appearances and things like that. Um, it's, it's a full-time deal. Um, you know from like it's the last thing I think about before I go to bed and it's the first thing that's on my mind when I wake up. <laughs> it's, uh, it's constantly um, in my thoughts and um, it, it, yeah, it's, it affects my entire life. I have to plan my, my personal life around my racing schedule. <laughs> but you know what? I worked my butt off to get to this point. It's so worth it. And I knew exactly what it was going to entail before I started. I, I wanted this to happen and um, I welcome it. You know, but it's, uh, it's a very intense sport. 
and you know, yeah, the, the runs are only four seconds, but you're going over 320 miles an hour in those four seconds. And just that level of um, competition and intensity, that's what I thrive on. That's what like feeds my soul, you know. It's, it's so awesome out here and I, I just, I love every second of it. It was a good place to start because I had no history in, in drag racing. No one taught me it. I had never watched anybody in my family race. So I wanted to start from the ground up, but my goal was always Nitro Funny Car. That was the, the biggest thrill, the most rowdy, and the hardest car to drive out here, and that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> so I, I took the proper steps to get to that point, learn everything I could, slowly but surely. So when I got to this point, I felt like I was ready and I had earned my stripes out here. And the respect of the other racers, you know. Yeah, it's a male-dominated sport. Yeah, it's 2013 and there's a lot more women in racing than there used to be when Shirley Muldowney was out here because she, you know, she got hands thrown at her. Like, she got all sorts of crap for it. But she was one of the first, you know. She opened the doors for all of us. But, you know, we still get some negativity. Um, and that being said, and just you know, having a father like I do, I didn't want to come in like, hey, look at me, I'm out here, I'm a girl, and you know, I got this big sponsor. I, that's not how I run my life, and that's not how I was brought up. Uh, we earn our right to be here, and you know, we work for what we love and believe in, and you know, it's, it's empowering. So that's that's how I got here. <laughs> Yeah, we, we race in a straight line, but these cars don't want to go straight. And uh, that entire, you know, four seconds that I'm going down the racetrack, I'm, you know, turning the wheel, just trying to keep it from, you know, going in every direction which it wants to. But um, yeah, they're a handful. Um, I have a, a huge team, about 10 guys that work on the car, uh, crew chief and assistant crew chief. and. Um, I pack my own parachutes, I fill my fresh air bottle, but other than that, I'm, I'm a driver. <laughs> Last season was my rookie year, uh, first full season in a Nitro Funny Car with Kalita Motorsports. Um, I just wanted to soak up as much information as possible last year and do the very best I could, keep my nose clean, keep my head down, my ears and eyes open, and just do my job and do the best I could. I want to beat everybody, it doesn't matter who it is, if my friend or not. I, <laughs> when the, when the uh, car goes down, when you're you know, your engine starts up, there are no friends out there. I'm taking everything I learned and now, you know, I'm applying it to, uh, to my runs and, and I want to win. Um, when I 
start getting suited up, um, my frame of mind changes, uh, just get really quiet and focused, take some deep breaths, just kind of like get in that zone. It's just, it's game on. It's like, yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is the best place in the world right now. I can't wait. It's just everything kind of like gets super clear and, and um, just disappears around me. You know, I just, I've got my main focus is the guys in front of me and what I need to do and every step of the way and doing everything perfectly. It's all about perfection out here because you don't get another chance. You get that one run, it's do or die every time you go out there. Need parts for restoration? Can't find what you need for your classic? Look no further. It's a Carolina Salvage in Rock Hill. Complete cars, engines, transmissions, and so much more. If you want to pull it yourself, visit Carolina U Pull It Next Door. AC compressors as low as $34.95. Water pumps as low as $7.25. Car Guys, it's in Rock Hill at Carolina Salvage and Carolina U Pull It. Call 1-800-845-7098-234 Porter Road, Rock Hill. Looking for a great place where the beer is cold and the food is great? It's right here at Iron Thunder Saloon and Grill. Get your meal kick-started with our Iker Caviar, O-Rings, or famous Thunder Thighs. From crab cakes to chicken wings, we have it all. We even boast the biggest breasts in town. And all served by the beautiful Thunder Girls. Come check out our bike night on Thursdays, karaoke on Fridays, and live entertainment on Saturdays. Oh yeah, did we mention our beautiful Thunder Girls? So go to ironthundersaloon.com for the location near you. Iron Thunder Saloon and Grill. If you're not here, you're nowhere. with my dad being able to make it to about five races a year. I thought that was a big deal because <laughs> he's super busy. But um, but no, just he's, he hasn't he hasn't missed one. Last year in St. Louis, or steering, they changed chassis and the steering rack needed to be adjusted, so I cut it out of the chassis and re -tig, tig welded it all back together so she it could fit her, so she could run the next day. So like. Just because I, I don't know, it's easy for me. I can't stand around and do nothing while other people are working. So even if I have to straighten the lunch trays, I'll do whatever I can to help. I'm here like every weekend. This is like my hobby. You know, I don't really, my hobby became my life and my occupation. So this is like really my hobby where I just do this for fun and come out and support my girl and support the team and do anything I can, you know, to help. So I'm really thankful for it because it's like, I forgot how much I love being around this stuff. She's put the seat time in to know what she's doing and know how to like operate this car. She's very, very, takes it very serious. You know, she's not looking at it. She has zero ego about this stuff where she's not looking at it as like, oh, I'm the best and I'm doing, you guys all serve me. No, she's like very focused on doing her job perfect so she doesn't let the team down, you know?
many people want to see her do well, including myself, you know, know that she can do it. You know, everybody's just like, it's like a countdown timer, just waiting until it happens, until she starts clicking off wins, you know. I'll always help in whatever I have to do to make this thing successful and make her, you know, reach her full potential of what she should be, you know, getting wins. She's got it in her. She's, it's going to happen. You watch. I'm in Hawaii for a seminar with all of our distributors throughout the world with Paul Mitchell. And I'm sitting there and a gentleman walks up and he says, I know you. So I'm thinking he's going to say Patron to or Paul Mitchell, or I saw you on this video. He says, you're Alexis's father. I go, yes, I am. He goes, well, nice to meet you, sir. I'm a dad, too. Very proud of your daughter. When Alexis, she was a kid, she was incredible. And she always liked speed. She was talking about driving a fighter jet. I bought her one of those little cars, those little Jeeps that, you know, you pull the deal to start the Briggs & Strat motor up. And uh, she'd drive that thing around like uh, like a bat out of hell. Like, whoa, she'd go all over the place, my God, and go out fast. So I thought, this girl's built for speed. And then when she was 16 years old, I bought the fastest car on the road at that time called the Vector, 750 horsepower. And I let her drive it with me to Nevada from Las Vegas from LA. And by God, she got on that thing and she drove that thing 180 miles an hour straight and true. And then we had to slow down because that car will go 227 miles an hour. She handled it really well. I thought, boy, she can handle speed really well, obviously. <laughs> My daughter, Alexis, tried several things, got into drag racing in the National Art Run Association and loved it. It's good she's following that path. In life, people should find out what they want to do. And if you don't know, get rid of what you don't want to do until you find it. What goes through my mind when she races, the first time she raced, alcohol funny car or top fuel was, oh my God, why did I let her do this? Tears come out of my eyes. Now it's honey, drive straight, drive true, and get to the other end before the other guy safely. <laughs> if this is what she wants in life, she should do it as safe as can be, and I support her 1,000%. constantly striving to do better, I think you're kind of settling, and I'm not settling for anything. I want to win. My team wants to win. I don't want to like, you know, most people would be like, oh, well, you're, you know, you're a female, you're definitely, you're, you're different, you get, you know, different publicity and things like that. But I don't really try to ride on, the, on those coattails just because I don't consider myself to be different in that aspect. Um, I mean, there's definitely more pressure on the girls to, to succeed because I think a lot of people don't expect us to. Um, but really what I think sets me apart is probably my background, not having any history in racing. My family didn't have any ties to racing except for, um, you know, in Patron, they've, they've sponsored different, different forms of racing like NASCAR and ALMS and things like that. But, no one in my family raced, but most people out here, like either their dad or their brother, you know, raced, or they worked on a race, uh, a race team. Um, but yeah, I just kind of came out of left field. <laughs> now you see it. Now you don't. No, it's not magic. It's all lit up custom. Graphics always look great, but with the twist All It Up Customs gives them, they go from great to awesome with a flip of a switch. They can do graphics on almost any paint surface. All It Up Customs is also your place for custom halo lights. Call Wade O'Lori at 704-660-0102 or come see them on the web at allitupcustoms.com. You can also find them on Facebook at All Lit Up Customs. All Lit Up Customs, when looking good is just not good enough. Remember when food was fresh and service came with a smile? Well, those days are back at Highway 55. Come into Highway 55 for the best burgers, cheesesteaks, wings, hot dogs, and much, much more. Come in and try our homemade soft serve ice cream. Try our Big A Challenge. It's a 50-ounce hamburger with all the trimmings. 
If you can eat it all, it's free. So come on into Highway 55, where great food and friendly service is not a thing of the past. Hey guys, welcome back to the Mustang Corral. If you notice, we have the Phoenix in the shop today. She had a little bit of a coolant link, and originally we thought it might have been the water pump. Um, it turned out to be a lot more than that. Mr. Ryan will tell you about it. Guys, traditionally when the 05 to the 09 Mustangs came out with the 4 liter 6 cylinders, Ford had some issues because of the overuse of plastic. Now we all know plastic with heat over time, it cracks, it disintegrates, it deteriorates as it loses its form and everything else. Well, when you see the coolant coming out of a four liter six cylinder, the number one thing everybody assumes is it's a water pump. Not necessarily so, guys. Now, with these Ford six cylinders, they have a plastic, and yes, I did say plastic coolant water jacket housing and thermostat housing. Just which, like that. Which is this one right here, guys. It's a two-piece unit, thermostat upper, housing lower. What happens is a lot of times back here in the back of the water jackets, or over here on the side of the jackets, over age and heat and deterioration, they will split. What happens is the coolant leaks down and it actually hits the water pump pulley and ends up slinging all over the motor bay and the ground so you're really not sure where it is. So if you're running one of these six cylinders and you're starting to see some coolant on the ground, don't run right out there and buy that $130 water pump. Get it by your local mechanic, have them check it out, and have them check this thermostat jacket housing and coolant cover reason is this is a whole lot cheaper and 90 percent of the time guys this is the problem now while you guys stay tuned me and vince are going to get the front end of phoenix ripped off and we're going to get this coolant problem solved let's show them how to do it let's get it done let's grab some tools She's all done now. All right, guys, listen. We were telling you about the common issues with these four liter six cylinders, and guess what? It was the thermostat housing. It was not the water pump. Make sure, guys, when you're looking at these kind of repairs and stuff, make sure you look for the common issues that are popping up with these cars as they get a little age and a little mileage on them. Versus going out and unnecessarily spending $100 plus for a new uh, water pump, always check make sure that that water is not coming from the top end because if it is guys 90 percent chance it's a thermostat housing vince the phoenix looks good brother i tell you any you guys have any questions on stuff that's happening with your car you're not sure of shoot us an email at info at cruisecontroltv.com we'll see if we can help guys stay tuned for a message from our sponsors Now you see it, now you don't. No, it's not magic, it's all lit up customs. Graphics always look great, but with the twist all lit up customs gives them, they go from great to awesome with a flip of a switch. They can do graphics on almost any paint surface. 
All Let Up Customs is also your place for custom halo lights. Call Wade O'Lori at 704-660-0102 or come see them on the web at alllitupcustoms.com. You can also find them on Facebook at All Lit Up Customs. All Lit Up Customs, when looking good is just not good enough. Ash, what are you doing now? Just finishing Tyler's interior up. And you didn't use a hammer? Nope. I got to use a little screwdriver this time. <laughs> hey, guys. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. You V6 Mustang owners out there, I hope the Tasman and myself were insightful enough on those thermostat housing issues and the water pump issues. Also, stay tuned. Next week, we're going to show you the unveil of Tyler's entire car and give you the story behind what exactly happened. Plus, guys, we really hope you enjoyed the inside interview with Alexis, Paul, and, of course, Jesse James. Also, don't forget, guys, go to Facebook.com and like us. It is Cruise Control Extreme. Also, go to the website, CruiseControlTV.com, and send us an email. Tell us if you've got any problems with your cars that we may be able to help with. Meanwhile, guys, buckle up, be safe, keep it on cruise control. Let's go this way. I'm out. <laughs>